Hi guys, today I want to bring some awareness to something that I recently found that has been around for years and years and years, but I haven't personally done it, and that's the Red Cross blood donation. I have recently given blood, and I didn't really realize the stats of it until I had actually sat down and looked at it. So I'd really love to go through the stats with you guys and go through a bunch of photos of all the little people that have required blood transfusions or blood products throughout their short lives. I didn't realize how short we were for blood products in Australia. So when I was nursing, I remember standing there in next to my patients waiting for their bloods to come up so we could actually give blood to the sick patient. And it isn't until you're in that situation or you're a parent yourself that you realize blood is actually really, really crucial. And it's the only product that can't be replicated in the medical system. I wanna go through where your blood is being donated and what it's being used for. So bear with me as I go through the stats for you guys. 34% of blood donated goes to cancer and blood diseases. Two very crucial things that I know a lot of people have been touched with throughout their lives. 19% of other blood donations go to medical reasons for anemia. 18% goes to surgical patients. This is for heart surgery um, and also for burns. 13% goes to issues relating to the blood and also stomach and kidney and heart disease patients. 10% goes to orthopedic patients, so that's your breaks and your fractures and a lot of the elderly that have falls and accidentally break their hip or their neck of femur. 4% goes to pregnancy related issues and also goes to mums and young children, which is also, that's quite a lot of blood as well. So husbands, if you can donate while your wife is pregnant, you should do that. And 2% goes to trauma. I don't know if these stats will worry anyone else or if it's just me that's personally something gone, wow, I didn't know this and I needed the, um, I kind of needed the kick in the butt to go do it. So I know a lot of people say they can't donate blood, but I do wonder how many of us actually check the checklist because I personally didn't check it. So it was recently that you couldn't donate blood um, until six months after a tattoo. So that has now been changed to four months after a tattoo. You can now donate blood. You can't donate blood when you're unwell or you've been on antibiotics, unfortunately. You have to wait till the course and then have to wait for a time after that. So this knocks out pretty much the most regular blood donors. This is why it's crucial, especially now in winter, to try and pump up our blood supplies so we can give to the people that need it. So one in three people will require blood in their lifetime. Around 3% of Australians will actually donate blood and that equals out to about 606,000. So that is still a lot, but there's 24.1 million people who reside here in Australia. A lot of the donations that can't be done are from people that um, have come from the UK and things such as that because when she said, I asked her why, and she's like, because we can't test for mad cow's disease. And I'm like, well, why can't you just test it in the blood? She goes, honey, it can only be tested by an autopsy. So you can't do that, unfortunately. One blood donation will save three lives. That's a lot of lives. So when I had my blood donated, I, um, I personally got a text a few days later saying, Melissa, your blood is now on its way to Gosford Hospital. So my stepfather is in hospital at the moment, has required quite a few transfusions. We sit there and go, okay, if he's required blood, I need to give blood back so I can refill up what he's taken. I don't think, we realize how important it is until we see our friends, children, our friends, family members, our, our own family members, people in society just that require blood and people's children who are so sick and require blood. And I don't think we realize how important it is until we, we witness this. And that's what makes me sit there and go, I'm healthy. I can give blood just like a lot of you guys can too. So if you can donate blood, go do it it doesn't take long and you get a snack so if this video touches you or makes you just want to go oh i need to go do something like it did for me please see the links i'll put below i'll put them on my instagram i'll put them on my facebook because we are desperate for blood because i know that if it was your child you'd do anything for them